All right, guys, so uh, I'm mentioning this in every video. I was a victim of a hurricane. I don't have power in my house. I'm having to, like, find places to make these videos in. Uh, so that's why I'm just recording this off of my phone. My apologies that uh, for the lack of quality. But uh, hopefully soon uh, I'll be able to get back to uh, the usual standard that I've set for myself here. Uh, but either way, I watched El Pinguino, episode 3. And this uh, show continues to be pretty fantastic. Um, in this episode, we get a little bit of an origin story for Vic. Um, we learn more about his family, how they ended up getting washed away in the flood that the Riddler caused. And we also just really learn where he's coming from in regards to his place and why he's sticking around with Oz. Um, and it really does come from a place of insecurity, not even necessarily because of his lisp, but because of his upbringing. Like, there's that scene where he's trying to convince his dad to ask for a raise, but his dad is just kind of fine um, with the income that he has, but Vic wasn't. And, you know, in the present day, we get to see him deal with sort of that that conflict of, like, thinking back to his dad it's like he shouldn't be sticking around with Oz Cobb right he he shouldn't be a criminal like he should just go off with his girlfriend and live a normal life out in California but you know I think in in a very, a very flawed sense like he still has that insecurity he's like no I want more for my life and so he eventually makes a decision to stick around with Oz and I really like the character study of uh, of Vic in the in this episode um, and then getting around to Oz and Sophia, um, I really liked learning about their past together, the way that he was her driver, and he actually wronged her in some sense. Like, he seemingly was the reason why she was placed in Arkham. And a really interesting um, thing to note is that they're kind of um, saying that she isn't the hangman, that she was in some way framed maybe by um maybe by penguin or by um even her dad falcone I'm, I'm not entirely sure where that's gonna go but it seems like maybe she's not actually like a psychotic murderer or whatever um which i think could be interesting because maybe the hangman ends up being a character that they introduce at some point maybe the hangman is one of the other characters like maybe it's a the, what, is, what is the johnny Turturri guy jimmy vanilli <laughs> the um the guy that they end up framing in the episode, like, what if it's one of them? What if it's one of the higher-ups um, that they had Sophia sort of fall on the sword for? Kind of interested to see where that goes. Um, but yeah, I really like seeing them sort of continue their, their little journey together. I like that they introduce yet another mob family um, with, the, with the, the the more, like, Chinese mob. Um, I really like those characters. And again, I, I just, I really love the tension that this show is able to grasp or, like, Every scene, every interaction is just, like, ratcheting up the tension where it's like, uh-oh, like, we, like, I gotta talk my way out of this one when, you know, he's dealing with, uh, with the, uh, with the mob boss. Um, I think it was, like, Feng is something, but, you know, you, you know, the, the mob, the Chinese mob boss, and he's like, hey, well, I, you're telling me that you have Jimmy Vanilli, <laughs> I'm forgetting his name, he was in House of Cards as well, but you're telling me you got him on your, you got him backing up on this, well, I need a phone call with him <laughs> and it's like oh shit how exactly are we gonna do this and then um and then they end up blackmailing him and all of that and and I really love the scene when they're blackmailing Jimmy Vanilli the guy from House of Cards don't remember his name in the show um and I really like the scene where they're blackmailing him and he sort of gets to Oz and he's like oh you're nobody cares about you you're you suck you're weird and nobody likes the penguin and whatever and I that was a really great scene because you see Oz um, lose his cool. You see him show his dominance, right? He starts sticking, like, the knife in his mouth and whatnot. And in that scene, you you really see, like, Penguin asserting dominance. You see him um, striking fear in one of the higher-ups of the Falcone family. And you see, like, a little glimmer of, like, okay, I can I can get with this guy with, with Sophia. Where it's like, okay, this guy's not... This guy's not a rube. This guy's not a. This guy's not a pushover. And it's those. But at the same time, it's also showing the insecurity of Oz. And that was that 
was such a great scene of showing like the psychology of everybody involved. So yeah, overall, really great episode. Um, I really like the ending as well, where you know the the Falcons are like, "We've been watching you, Oz. You think you can get one over on us?" And then uh, and then of course Vic comes in and decides to stick around, and he gets even further involved in everything, and he crashes into one of like the Falcon bodyguards and saves Oz and and then there's even more tension here because they left Sophia <laughs> um because I was I was actually wondering to see if like maybe Oz is, is actually going to have good intentions with Sophia and maybe he's not going to get rid of her at some point like he said but it seems like that is still his plan because he just kind of left her behind um it's all very interesting um and I'm very very interested to see where everything goes from here but either way let me know what you think uh, about the episode in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.